There we go. There's the money maker. Yan ng bawo kung catchphrase, guys. Where's the money maker? Welcome to Gaming Gamers. Yes. I'll see Andrew and Bernardo. There's a lot to talk about today. The Video Game Awards. Yes. I know. By. Oh, who was that guy again? Jeff Keeley. Jeff Keeley. That's what. That's what it is, guys. We're gonna be talking about that later. We're gonna be talking about that later. But first of all, I will see Andrew and Bernardo. Yes. Uh, funny man from Call Me the Manila. Yes. I make funny jokes that come out of my face. Funny, funny fucking jokes, buddy. Come out of my face. And I'm joined by Giselle. Come on, buddy. What do you do, Giselle? I make comic books. Fuck yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. And with me, it's a uh, fucking left. Left? <laughs> River Cruz. Yes, indeed. Everybody. I am in the, in the I am left leaning, and my name is River Cruz. Okay. Um, the thing that I do that gives me value is that I write. So that's my thing. Uh, if you don't know, si River yung gumawa ng campaign para sa nagdisappear na mga globe, di ba? Yeah, that was my idea. I, I was like, what if we got a big thing so that Ryan Reynolds can make more money? So that's what we did. That was whack, Parin. Fucking Moa Glow thing. <laughs> it's stolen. Ooh. Ice of the century. I don't got to some malaking fucking metal sphere. No, no it's, it's just. No, that was just like, yeah, they, they covered it. Those uh, CG effects of a helicopter and all that stuff. You know what? That, that, that was kind of sick, man. CG effects. Honestly, it was pretty cool. Yeah, and um, I, I don't know if, if of like news, like actual real life news bulletins were paid, but like freaking Manila Bulletin was like talking about it and all that stuff. And I don't know if that was a good idea because like with all the <laughs> fake the news, news that's happening <laughs> nowadays, it's like, <laughs> what do you believe news. anymore? They were on fucking parang fake ass campaign. Na to, no? Yeah. So, before we start, Wait, you don't we talk? what? What? You didn't do it, naman, right? I was just no, I didn't actually do it. No, I didn't do it. Oh, we shouldn't, we shouldn't pile on misinformation on top of misinformation. Oh yeah, no, no, no. we we have so we have a huge platform. We don't want to, uh, no. we don't want to un- uneducate our our viewers. So hopefully, we jump off it. But uh, yes, uh, before we continue, uh, we'll say weekends to you guys. How are you guys doing? You share first, Giselle, because I might go on a, a, a long story about Shin Megami Tensei 5, because that's all I did. You I'll start strong. I'm at 97 years old. Rest in peace. Rest in peace, dude. I've been going around people, uh, telling people that she was so young. Tapos sana sana I hope si Doc Ramon is going to die. I told him to Rex. He <laughs> said, Pwede ba mag-lol pagkatapos mag-condo niya? Uh, 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 she lived a long life. I was there nung we went to the hospital. Hindi na naman siya naabot ang buhay. I was, ha- I was glad na she she didn't suffer. She kind of like, good. I think she went in the most one of the most, not super peaceful, but like, she just uh, and then, yeah, no. And it was, Definitely it was, top three ways to die, yeah. You making a like, video, dude? No, I'm not. <laughs> I'm making a, I'm making a ranking. I'm making a tier list of ways to die. That's definitely like yeah. maybe A tier to so S tier. <laughs> yeah. Mm. Trash tier will sorry. be getting run over by a truck. So yeah. <laughs> trash tier, especially cool. Oh, yeah. Trash uh, truck. <laughs> Whoa. Oh, what just happened? Something happened. I can't hear you. I love that we're all just eating live. We don't give a shit anymore. <laughs> the worst thing you can do. <laughs> I'm enjoying my dread. Tapos um, I'm enjoying it, man. I knew you would. I had a feeling. I'm doing a lot of things that I should on. So yeah. I will also talk about my weekend before River. <laughs> Goes on this continuing thing with a love hate relationship. Yeah, with I could, I could, I honestly, I could talk about Rivers weekend. That's how I, how sure I am. <laughs> yeah, that's how predictable I am at this point. 
Um, so uh, guys, come back them twice now. Um, Hell last yeah. week they released Scientist Biotic. It's a great song. A it's a, yeah. Did they get banned? I'm seeing some videos about they got banned or something. Oh, it's it's their one song. Cause it's one of their first songs that curse that has a curse word. It's the what's song the curse iconic. word? Damn. Oh no! Damn. How could they? Hey, hey! Children I listen to their music. Yeah. Hey, I got it. Damn, I'm iconic. Oh, it's so good. Twice rules. For it. <laughs> the, yeah. Why did it get and, banned? Uh, I don't know. It's it's a regulatory board for like if it's safe for ch- kill childrens to hear, which doesn't make sense because no one no one cool listens to clean music. <laughs> so well, like, there's like um. You have you to George Carlin, seven thirty words. Thirty words. Yeah, yeah. And yeah. then you have Piss Christ, you I uh, know New York performance art piece. Yeah. Uh, in terms of controversy, and then you have twice, right? Yes, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> well, they're they're edgy, buddy. Twice is edgy as fuck, bro. Really I've been I've been doing jump rope. That was I always played. Uh, what is love? I Dude, jump rope hard into that. It's it's re- it's still stuck in my head. It's a really yeah. good ear. What is love? La, la, la. Dude, that that move that mi- music video is so baller. Yeah, you know? tons of movie references. They're, from, 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 they're real. From, they love cinema. They love yeah. the cinema of Quentin Tarantino and yes. um, um, La La Land. Catch guy, you know, uh, uh, Juliet guys. Goddard. No, no, the French, the French dude who makes. Oh music. yeah. Yeah, yung fuck B. Yung reference ba yon yung kay Cheyong yung anong movie yon yung kasama si Nal- Natalie Portman nung bata pa siya. Natalie Portman. Be- Luke si Bison. Yeah, yeah. What not was... Luke Bison. That's a action guy. <laughs> anyway, let's move on from you. Yeah. Um. Yes. And um. Twice also as a new commercial with Nintendo's uh Nintendo's oh, Korean. I saw this one. Yeah. Fuck yeah! It's, they play Mario Party about it. Twice, pare. Twice is shit. So uh, in they other names, they just hated each other. <laughs> <after the game. laughs> that was so funny. Yeah, that made me hate my siblings when we were kids. But um, so no weekend ago, I just watched a lot of anime. Uh, have you heard? Are you an anime watcher, Giselle River? Yes. There's this. There's this new one. That's are you called, an anime uh, watcher? Are you an avid anime viewer? Uh, are you an animist? Guys? <laughs> um. I've been watching a lot of horror movies lately. That's so wrong. Oh, I've just been having a good time, having a bad time. So a new anime. <laughs> the, uh, uh, the world's greatest assassin gets reincarnated <laughs> into an aristocrat. Oh. Yeah, okay. Come, yeah, come, like ever since the big slime overlord, big hit na yeah. anime. Of, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. I think, know yeah, this oh. recent naming convention of. Um, huge long sentences as names of things. Yeah. I th- Do you think that your thesis titles are gonna get longer or shorter because of it? Because they just sound like thesis titles at this point. Yeah, yeah. I it think they started, only do that for isekais, right? Is it just me? Or they only do it for the isekai type anime? Yeah, yeah. Like Skeleton gets reincarnated in the dungeon. It's not really, just yeah. that, but I actually I read something that they can explain what it is. It's um YouTube affecting other formats because since you, uh, it's like no way. Is this an SEO? Yeah, it's a thing that para oh, this is what it's about. You have to see the title. Like it's a YouTube channels, right? It's like yeah, you will not believe the amount of so I stuff it's because of Google. Like you need search engine optimization to get. I mean, there's like a shit ton of anime nowadays, so I guess it's an easy way to to stand out. But yeah, but go on. Tell us how this how the story goes. Greatest assassin okay. turns into an aristocrat next time. So uh, basically, I'm greatest assassin. So real world, and then guys, sorry, ah, wala si truck kun dito, walang truck na sa sagasa sa kanya. He no. actually gets assassinated um, in the end, but by a by a suicide bomber. <laughs> <laughs> like he knock yung sobrang wake. Eh. Tapos binaral kasi yung pilots. So yon and the crashing airplane. You get reincarnated by this goddess, and your main, your main thing yeah is you need to kill the hero of this world. So you get, <laughs> it's kind of complicated. You get one S class skill, 
one A class skill, one B class skill, one C class skill to pick when you get reincarnated. So okay. he gets healing as his S class skill, extra healing, strength team A class skill, stealth team C class skill. Thus, guys, he didn't say that he A class. Uh, oh, skill na C class. So until now, because I'm in episode six now, right? Eh. Hindi pa cool. Don't you think ano? Don't you think na yung nature of Isekai is kind of insulting sa mismong audience? Kasi the guy who always gets reincarnated is like this boring salary man or walang pinatutungan sa buhay. Which is to say na parang, this is you! who you're, Who's watching this fucking loser? Like you. Yeah. So like, don't you feel yeah. bad na parang... Like, I started watching you, ano, Tanya the Evil. Yeah, yeah, I finished that one. That's pretty good. Yeah, that's cute, right? But like the... The guy previously, like, I'm a psychopath, and like I was uh, unremarkable, then I died, and then I became a cute girl. Yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. But this one's kind of different because you were badass. Yeah, it seems <laughs> different. Now. I like it how it's kind weird. of video gamey too. It kind of reminds me of um the Greed Island arc in Hunter Hunter, where they all have like specific skills and tiers so and whatnot. This is the card one. It's yeah, the yeah. Where they go in the, the PlayStation. The worst part of Hunter that's Hunter. the reason why I think that Hunter x Hunter is not that good, just because it's such a fucking hump to get over. You, I like that one. I don't know. I I, I enjoy it. Ants. No, okay, the ant. Okay, so that happens before the Chimera ant arc, and I I feel like it's it's they needed to do that to explain how certain. Anyway, I don't want to spoil it for people that might be watching. I'm but. gonna watch the Chimera ant arc, but like the fucking Greed Island. I could never Dude, it's that. necessary though. Uh, but yeah, I, I get, I get that it's for everyone. Like, so. It's like an initiation. It's like it's necessary to watch to... ten chapters of anti vouser videos before <laughs> you can get the Illuminati. Okay. Just and then you get the Q and on after that. So, yeah. Dude, like, have you seen, read the Hunter Hunter manga? Like the later chapters. Again, the guy's sick and he should recoup. Yeah. Right? Uh, it's okay that he never makes another one. <laughs> it's literally a wall of text. I know. Yeah. Drawing. He has channel. like I don't understand like what his motivation is. I feel like he wanted to be a game developer in like another life, but he just never got to. He suddenly he accidentally got boxed into making manga. So now he just has to live his dreams through the manga wouldn't, that he does. Wouldn't it be great River though? Like if he was he wanted the anime his manga to fail now. Okay. So we get a <laughs> bunch of ants. They all shrink. Fucking, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> They don't shrink, by the way. But I, 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 I love just, that. That's what you think it happens. He's like a master. He's like trying to break your form. Yeah, you know? yeah. It's like okay. Okay. I've done a hundred episodes of Ghost Fighter. You know I can draw. Now oh, let me write something, and this is like mm. to test you. Ganon. Pero also like I don't want to read you walls of text. Yeah. And uh, and naman. And uh, I read this manga. Nanirave ko kasi may bagong issue ngayon. It's called Record of Ragnarok. Mm. So Is that the uh, old one? Oh, wait, no. Huh? That's on Netflix, that be, isn't it? It's not the manual. The, the anime, the anime stinks, dude. Okay. That's I anime love the really. Like, kasi low budget siya. Eh. Like, they're mm. literally like fight scenes to power, PowerPoint presentations. Like, oh, really? Little slide. Yeah, and uh, basically, maglalaban si Hades. So, si Oh first, right, this is one you told me. Yeah. Oh yeah. Hades versus the first emperor of China. Who's <laughs> <laughs> the first emperor? Si Mao Zedong ba? Huh? Not Mao Zedong. Si Lu, um, Lu, Xi Jinping, Lu, I don't. Lu Kui <laughs> Bin, I think. Lu Kui yeah. Bin, I think. I think. And dude, it's awesome. It's dumb. Well, yeah, I like I like media. Na, there's, he be self-aware. They they still do dumb shit. They be self-aware, but they want it to be awesome. Yeah, it's very like, earnest. I get what you're saying. Yeah, yes, earnest yung pagiging dumb. Yeah. And it's... Because it doesn't make sense. That's why you like the Fast and Furious movies. Yeah, it doesn't make sense that Hades would fucking beat the shit out of this old emperor. But they had this armor plot na, oh, tinuturungan ng mga Valkyries yung humans, so they transform into weapons that the humans can use. And fuck, such a great series. And video game... Related twice, uh, I've been playing Dragon Quest Builders 2. And I like that game. Nasa isang island ako where you need to turn this mud golem into a gold golem. Oh, so, okay. I look, I'm cute guy. Oh, I look ugly. <laughs> bring me bronze. But bring me uh, copper, copper ingots to make me look jack. 
Tapos yun, you bring copper to silver. Si Andrew, he's doing yeah. yung prep work so he can get into Minecraft so he could, ano, date yung isa sa Twice members. Yeah, dude. Si Ballerina Mina, pare. <laughs> yeah, she's a very good Minecraft player. Yeah. Dude, I feel like she made it. Into K-pop I think your mic is getting covered by your your potato chip bag or something. Just. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry. What? Yeah. You think your mic is getting covered by something? No, it's just. It's low in the mix. Oh. Is this Dude, better? River. Yes. 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 Yeah, what were you gonna say, Jason? No, I'm. I, I'm just thinking that yung parang you getting into K-pop is like. It's the most punk thing you can do right now. So like you, you're relishing it. That's why you laugh every time. It's like I'm into K-pop. <laughs> I get it. yeah, because it's like a rebellion on like what is expected of you. I guess I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. I'm fucking ruled. <laughs> I'm gonna wear my smelly, I uh, know my smelly uh, metal shirts. But I'm really into like I don't know. <laughs> but I'm humming. <laughs> but I'm genuinely into it. That's... Yeah, no, I, we can tell. You, you can't fake this enthusiasm. Yeah. Ironically. <laughs> yeah, no. It stops being cool when it's ironic. Uh, I love it. And uh, I built a track. Para mas ma- mabilis yung pagpunta ng silver sa, sa village ko. And it's kind of cool. Like, I made a track inside this big ass tunnel that I could fucking. Yeah, it goes. That's cool. I love it. Dragon I will get builders. to that eventually. Yes, my 2019, 2021 game of the year, but when did that come out, bro? Um, 2019. Was that... Okay, fair enough. Okay. So uh, okay. Weekend. My turn. So I've been playing Shin Megami Tensei Five, <laughs> which I it's one of the few games that I pre-ordered. I pre-ordered it um, last week, and it's incredible. Um, th- how I can describe it is somehow they were able to get the same feeling that I got when I first played Breath of the Wild and they put it into this JRPG because yeah uh, what they did is it's open world and it it, and it um it rewards exploration and I've never seen a JRPG do this let alone Shin Megami Tensei which is like known for like dungeons and tunnels and claustrophobic design yeah and you can like run and jump and everything they you can jump this is the first Shin Megami Tensei game where you can jump you can climb things and how it's done is that everything that you do and I, and I talked about it the same way with Ease uh, 8 and that everything that you do every little like collectible adds to the overall um, strength of your of, of your party of your demons so like you explore to find stronger demons you explore to get um, these like hidden guys called me man they're like tiny skull boys and they give you glory points which you then spend to um, to upgrade your guy like all this stuff like everything that you do builds the character and builds the world around you because you learn more about what's going on with the story and I, I'm, I'm in love with the game it's 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 designed in such a way that i've spent almost more than 15 hours and i'm still in the first area not because I'm, it's too hard hell yeah, yeah good. good boy river good boy. <laughs> I, I saw some, I saw some uh, no, screenshot is there like a bug that swears it's like they're swearing about like, yeah oh yeah the, that's that's uh, like a staple of um all the of the Shin Megami games where like the the bad guy the the demons they swear a lot, but the angels don't swear. They they say like instead they're passive aggressive and they say mean things, but they don't mean it. But the demons straight up just swear. What I love River is like when RPGs explain their experience points and like oh we call this like um yeah <laughs> points. Why is it called glory points? Okay, it's called glory because it's um from God. Glory. It's like you you learn you earn the glory so that you can buy a miracle from God. And then That's the miracles sick. the That's miracles sick. are perks. So like some some of the miracles can be like every time you level up your your HP and your magic points heal. Or some of the miracles can be like you, you can recruit more than two demons, blah blah blah, like all that stuff. And yeah, no, I like how it's contextualized. Like, isn't it like a couple of steps above like naming convention of like Rick and Morty? This is Schlem That's a Susa. Yeah, uh, exactly. So like RPGs are such gibberish sometimes. With it. I mean that, that that makes sense. But yeah, yeah. 
So, uh, I mean, you, you get regular experience points on the side. Uh, Th that doesn't go away. It's just another kind of experience point, I guess. So, there's fusing then, Dita, right? Yeah, there's fusing then. And what, what, I love what, how they do the fusing in this one. Any velvet room equivalent? No. Um, so, in all the Shin Megami Tensei games, it was called the Cathedral of Shadows. That actually looks But in, more in this one, badass. it's called the World of Shadows because they expand it even more. It's not as cool, right? The cathedral sounded yeah. cooler. I feel the same way. But in the World of Shadows, how they do it is, um, you know how like in, in Persona 5 at least, because that's the only one I played, when you fuse a demon, you can do two types. You can fuse like manually, just choosing who to fuse. Or you can fuse by um, result. You can look at the results and it automatically fuses. And then you can also, and there's a Persona compendium, right? Every Persona that you meet and is in a book and it's recorded. And then you spend money to get it to summon them, right? In uh, Shin Megami Tensei V, what they did is they have a thing called Reverse um, Demon Compendium Fusing. <laughs> so what that does, I know, it's every possible combination that you can do is shown already as a list of results. So you don't have to manually pick everything. It's so fast. And because I spent hours just fusing different demons all the time, it's freaking, it's, I, I love how they didn't... Fuse yeah, like if if you would like put a pie chart of me for playing Persona games, I think fifty percent was just fusing. Never, it got so yeah, bad. No, exactly. To the point that... where na babad trip ako na hindi ko inherit yung skill na gusto ko, and I restart the game because oh, <laughs> hindi ko na inherit okay. the skill. <laughs> so... They fix that. They fix that in Shimagami Tensei Five. In um, whenever you. If you build enough, like it's not a bond, but if you level up a demon and it's in your party long enough, they give you their essence. And then your essence, um, the essence is basically um, their weakness and strengths. You know how like sometimes they can resist certain things, they're weak to certain things. It's that and also the skills that they have. So you can basically make any combination of demon with any skill, but they have like a certain affinity. Like some demons are if you give them an ice ability they're not going to be as effective as a fire ability and so on it's just this whole like thing like, yeah exactly it's like, dark, it's like dark pokemon yeah it's 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 it's, it's so effed weird. up pokemon it started shin megami tensei started the monster collecting rpg thing and then they, they, and then it got softer and softer because at the beginning shin, first shin megami tensei is like Let's collect God or something, whatever. And it's like, yeah, basically, God. like he. <laughs> um, and I, I think, um, yeah, the first one was a novel. It was a novel first, and then a guy tried to turn it into a visual novel in the in the SNES and all this stuff. And I just like how it where it is now in that. There you go. Now your mic is working. Thank God. Okay. So I like where it is now in in terms of the story. Uh, where they already know, like, oh, it's, it's Japan is destroyed, blah blah blah, but they do something a bit different in that it's it almost feels like how we're living right now in like the pandemic times, where uh, what they did is Japan has always been destroyed 18 years ago, and then the the reality that everyone in in is living in is all this like illusion that God created so that people don't panic. So like God made this miracle that they people think they're living their regular lives where they're actually in like the post apocalypse. So you find this out, but then after that, after like finding out that you can fuse demons and you can kill angels and whatnot, suddenly you still have to go to school, you still have to live your normal life with the knowledge that the world already ended. And then like throughout I'm not I'm not that far in the game because I, I barely I barely progressed the story because I kept grinding and fusing. But I'm at that point in the game where I found out, yeah. The Andrian hate... School of Gaming. That sucks. <laughs> I hate that thought. Na parang sucks with you. Yeah, that that's that's mostly what I've been doing. I've been trying my best to play other games because I didn't want I don't want to burn myself out too quickly on Shin Megami Tensei Five. So on the side, I've been playing a bit of East Eight. I've been playing a bit of um, Valkyria Chronicles Four and some Dragon Quest Eight on the side. With a but, with a good spread of games. I know. All JRPGs of different kinds. <laughs> I do remind me, I just remind me, I got back to Scarlet Nexus and Tales of Arise. Because I, 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 well, let's segue into uh, our main topic now for today is uh, mm. the Game Awards. Yeah. Celebrating video games. And uh, I saw the list, River, and 
It's just you. What are your thoughts, Mona? I, okay. I have a weird. I have a weird thought. I was scrolling through all of it. Tapos parang Metroid Dread is nominated Game of the Year, pero yeah. it's only nominated in one other category: is Best Action Game. So sto- like everything else, it's not nominated for like sound. Nothing. Yeah, it should have been nominated for sound design. Honestly, I'm gonna present the list just so we can go through it together. Hold on. Dude, is it presenting? Death Loop is fucking. There you go. Have you played yep. it? No, it's yeah, a yeah. PS5 exclusive. But... Oh. Yeah, never. I haven't played it too, but I, I bet it's great. I mean, the bag pinasok mo sa PS4 mo tapos nest graphics ang ilo mabas. You know what they should do? Um, you know the, how there's backwards compatible. There should be like frontwards compatible, where you put a PS5 on, a game in a PS4. And then it instead of like running on the disc, it downloads the PS4 version off of the shop, and then you have the PS4 version running like it's like a like a lesser version. I don't know. It's, They'll never it, do that. that yeah, that makes less money. That. What am I talking about? No one will ever do that. <laughs> From people na yung fucking ano yan, uh, I heard na naglalarin na ng NFTs yung fucking yeah uh, Ubisoft, um Ubisoft. I, I think, think it was Ubisoft, and there's this other one, the ones that made. Um, Dead by Daylight. They made one of yeah. the some of the three D models NFTs. But anyway, yeah, anyway uh, let's go through the list. Uh, okay. So, game of the year. What What are you guys' opinions on this? Wait, I'm just trying I to think zoom Death in. Loop's gonna win because in all of the, my friends who has a PS5 and all of the podcasts I listen to, people are in love with this game, dude. So it's kind of like imagine though if like uh, Dishonored. Better like with roguelike elements though. Yeah, I think it's gonna be number one. I know you're number one, Psychonauts 2, River. Yeah. I see the, the thing with me voting for Psychonauts 2 is it's kind of more out of, um, out of not spite, but like just because it's the underdog, you know, it's like it's the one that took forever to develop. Yeah, I see it as the underdog, honestly. Okay. I mean, it. Because, like, if you look at all of oh, these, it's you have. Game development. Yeah, yeah. Like, Deathloop was, is published by. Like, it's made by Arcane, published by Bethesda. Yeah. It uh, Well, I guess It Takes Two is kind of an underdog then. Yeah, what's Metroid the, Dread is intended. Um, it's the follow up to the same people that made A Way Out, you know, that game with the two ah, prisoners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah it, it Takes Two is you play uh, a couple. Who are about to get divorced, but they turn into toys. Jesus, Jesus Christ! <laughs> yeah, no. <laughs> Can he take it easy? That guy is the like same guy who made Brothers. Can he take it easy? Like, yeah, he's the like same guy that made Brothers. Fucking psychopath. Yeah. Uh, Where do you voted for Psychonauts? Yeah, I was kind of split between Metroid Dread and Psychonauts too. What would you vote for yourself? For game of the year. Um, I would delete Ratchet and Clank. That's it. Yeah, yeah we can make our own <laughs> list, honestly. What, like, what was your like personal like game of the year right now? Um, I don't know. Uh, wait, wait. Pag-isipan ka. Ikaw ba, Andren? Tales of Birdies. Hmm. Also, we have to, ano, we have to say na, well, well, I did Tales of Arise. You, you, you could vote for it later, pero like, yeah. kami lang ni River na pag Metro Dread. Have you played Resident <laughs> Evil Village? And yes, I've played, played Village. I played yeah. Village. Okay. What, what are your thoughts? I, I don't know. I'm I'm a bit surprised that Village was nominated. Not that it was bad, but it just felt very safe, very average for a Resident Evil game. It didn't. Blow me away as much as the other games have. Do, do you think that no game of the year has to have like a story? Because like people were talking about Forza. That's true. Having to be like should be nominated for game of the year this year because yeah. it weak naman yung entries and it's like a, a really good racing game naman like. Forza something. was getting ten out of ten reviews. That's that's how I uh, know. Because how... it's not broken. Like it's not yeah. like, fully patched and shit. You know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think Andrew's muted. Adrian, you muted. 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 Go ahead. What well, you say that again? Um, I think out of as a racing game, like how far can you take racing games? You know, like with in the list here, Devil's Advocate. I think it's mm. a very varied 
like it takes like quote unquote gaming to like different levels. Do you agree or like? No, I, I get what you mean though. But I guess. I'll... Well, okay, okay. It's the argument. Ko. Okay, so Forza can't be nominated because it's more of an experience and less of a story. I would argue that Metroid Dread has no story and it's okay. all bullshit either way. So just, <laughs> para like, like Metroid Dread is not nominated for any any narrative anything. Like it's just pure game. So parang, ano ko? It's not na parang I'm like a racing game guy, pero it's like. I don't know if if something gets ten out of tens all across the board, and there has been a sports game that not nominate for best game of the year before. So really? like, why? What's the difference? Yeah. What what that? sports game got nominated? Was it like a two K game or? It was a Madden thing. Oh. Uh, yeah, I see. I I enjoyed. Um, I played the first Forza Horizons. Um, now since now they're on five, but the first Forza Horizons is amazing. It, you like it's open world. You explore Italy. Um, there's some light like RPG elements and that you level up your cars and stuff like that and it was really addicting but I, I don't know what they added in 5 but like I, I get what you mean that we're like it's just a game game like a very game well, game well it's, it's, it's weird to does... me that parang Ratchet and Clank is obviously nominated for technology right? Yeah, because there's nothing yeah. new to, so gameplay it's just really beautiful well, it's like a CG movie really... I'm guessing he was about to say Forza is really beautiful. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs> I mean, how? Because like with, I guess with Forza is how far how far can you push? Yeah. It's it's just like it's already realistic looking. Like I guess, yeah. but it's unfair because like it, this is the game awards. It's a game that is fun, so I don't get why it, they don't seem to nominate those kinds of games. But whatever. Oh, Animal right. Crossing should be in this if it if it's <laughs> something up. Parang... No, it it was nominated last year. Ah, uh, not last year, papa. Uh, yeah. Okay. Well, yeah, the funny so... thing is, wala walang ano um cyberpunk. I wish they yes, nominated yeah. para yeah. lahat ng tao. Like people <laughs> jump off buildings, kill themselves. No. Uh, Best game direction. Yeah. This is kind of. This one. What does this mean? <laughs> I don't it's know. It's direct, <laughs> yeah. Like this director. So yeah, who the, yeah, okay. The words. It's like it's uh, a technical skill thing, but it's not necessary. It doesn't necessarily carry over na parang all of it comes together in like the best film, but it's very It was just directed really well, I guess. It, all right. It's a comedy. It's like you're a really good joke writer, but you're not like a uh, Dave uh, Chappelle or like Okay. Super fast. It's funny that Metroid was removed and then replaced with Returnal. Have you guys heard of Returnal? You metro, you just... super Metroid na roguelike na 3D na. Yeah, it's a PS5 to, ba? Yeah, it's a PS5 yeah. game where it's a it's a roguelike where I think you're in space or something, and then every time you die, you start over. Like Death Loop. <laughs> yeah. Like. Damn it! Oh, I don't have a lot to say about this. I know this. Yeah. Where are I, we? I've... We're on best game direction. I feel like that's uh-huh. a good sign, though. Like I do appreciate that Death Loop is kind of s- almost single-handedly carrying. Well, <laughs> Arcane in general is single-handedly carrying the single-player campaign first-person shooter. Like it doesn't just de- depend on multiplayer. Yeah. yeah. It's kind of, you know, it's Rift apart, Psychonauts two. Yeah. Surprise, what? surprise! I voted Psychonauts two for this one. When I was... <laughs> Have you finished it? By the way, you never thought. I did. Oh yeah, I finished. I finished it. I finished it. It's 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 great. It it lives up to the hype of the first one. But I, my only complaint would be that it was a, it was more linear than the last game. But I I didn't mind because they had a more focused story to tell. But yeah, next is best narrative. I guess this one's a bit subjective, but best story, basically best story. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Death Loop. It takes two. Life is strange. True Colors. I never played that I have, one. I have. Watch my sister play the first episode of Life is Strange, True Colors. What's it? What's it about? Actually, it's it's, it's fuck. Let me remember. Is it like this... you know, a CW show? Yung parang like teen, teeny drama. Yeah, teeny bo- teeny popper drama. Yeah. What's the power uh-huh. this time? I don't know. She just started playing it and I just walked away because I. Didn't... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, but she played like that that horror cooking game. I was there, but I don't know. Guardians um, of the Galaxy. Dude, yeah, a lot of people I, are fifty-fifty on this one. I heard it I was heard good. People. It's okay. got good writing, though. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Like it makes you, 
because you only play as uh, Star Lord. So I like that throughout the game they force you to pick sides in the team because sometimes the team will fight. Like I want to do this, I want to do this, and it forces you to pick sides and it changes the ending and everything. I thought that was interesting. Anyway, I, I voted Psychonauts too. Yeah, I I think I I mean I haven't played the other games so I can't really say for sure, but Psychonaut Two story was really good in that it talks about how the Psychonauts are shitty. <laughs> that if you had the ability to go into people's minds and change how they thought, that's a lot of power. And they talk about like the repercussions of of that and what what happens when you force people to think a certain yeah. way yeah, and take away their free will. God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah exactly. So, yeah. And they talk about that a lot in the game. And I, I really appreciate that they did that. Because I thought about that in the first game. If they had the, the ability to change people's minds and whatnot, why, how are they not like ruling the world? And they, they, there's, in Psychonauts 2, you face an enemy that's basically done that. Where they use their Psychonaut powers to rule the world, essentially. But yeah. That's kind of like Clockwork Orange. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. What's better, uh, a shitty person or a shitty person who you force to report? To be nice. Yeah, I yeah. know. That's actually cool. Yeah. A shitty cool. person who you force to be nice. Yeah, yeah. And so that person won't stop. <laughs> <laughs> Best art direction for outstanding creative and technical achievement or artistic, artistic design animation. Um, I would go Ratchet. I say I never played it, but it looks. But it so looks good. pretty. I get that. Um, actually, Kenna Bridge of Spirits. I I sent a video link of this before. It looked really pretty. Have you seen like gameplay of this one? It looked yeah, like it a Pixar like movie. Na, na Zelda. Yeah, yeah. Pixar direction. I feel like I would go with Psychonauts in the sense that I think they deserve it because they're it's level design based na artistic yeah. direction. And every every mind had a different art direction. There is one where like you go into a mind of a a seventies singer and then it's it's all like colorful and it's neon lights and all that stuff and then yeah. I'm but I feel like I'm so biased. We're good. I, I'm seeing Kenna now in Bridge of Spirits. Look, it looks awesome. Yeah. Looks and the, the, the animators who did this fucking work really hard. But uh, my opinion, I've seen a ton of games now that look like this. Right? Yeah. It's Fair enough, yeah. But that was the first game, I think. That was like a... The rules. The rules. Yeah. So I think it was a good first effort. Have you heard of Artful es- Escape? I, I've seen um, some screenshots of it. It's a music game, apparently. I haven't. I haven't. This is the best uh, no, game discussion between... Two yeah, two we're just like, have you played not this? Not no. Have you played this? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, because we play what we want to play. And it, it happens. So happens. Now. Yeah. Tales yeah. of well, Arise is isn't winning every it's category. It's I'm just, okay. I'm not sure if the, Tales of Arise was nominated for Arise, Best Arise. RPG. But like, let, let's yeah, try to yeah, like it's go it's through there, it really there. quickly. It's there? Okay. So yeah, yeah Best Score of Music, Cyberpunk, blah, 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 Deathloop, Near Replicant. I think Cyberpunk should win this. Because that, that you bopper talaga, like, oh, step. I, yeah, like, I would want it to win a no graphics or something in, in Cyberpunk. It does Kasi look very like, pretty. The Cyberpunk playlist looks like when I REM and like just parang your hipster yeah, dad's cool. playlist. Yeah. <laughs> Marvel's Ga- Guardians of the Galaxy is kind of cheating because it's mostly just 80s music and then that's it. Oh, man, well, that's Cyberpunk to me. That's true. No, at least they made music for Cyberpunk. Yeah, I think like, games yeah, of Guardians of the Galaxy when you buy the like you OST, the oh, yeah. OST. You yeah, know, it's a picture of a fucking tape cassette. Wait, like, okay. are you sure? But it's like eighties music. Cause yeah, they, they got eighties music. Yung licenses, so they, they did. Play. Yeah, they got eighties music. They oh, okay. even Maybe Rick Astley's "Never Gonna Give You Up" is in the game. Okay. Okay. Fine. Whatever. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. Uh, I'll play best the cloud version. Best on the Switch. Best audio design. You got Deathloop. Forza Horizon Five is finally nominated. Uh, Ratchet and Clank is there. Resident Evil Village Returnal. Forza Horizon Five. Vroom 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 beep beep. Yeah, that, that's the, that's your audio design. I really wish uh, Dread was in here because I really Don't enjoyed the sound design. Oh yeah. When did that come out? <laughs> <laughs> I mean. I mean, what, what more can you say? Yeah, it's, it's best audio design. 
I got <laughs> okay best when I saw performance. best performance. I got confused at first because I thought like, is thought, this about no, the best? Not gonna be nominated. <laughs> yeah, I was like, is this the best performing game? Like how well yeah. it performs on my Switch? It's the best like actor performance. Yeah. Okay. And, I yeah. have something to say about this because I played Far Cry Six. Okay, there you go. Okay. Oh, you have Gian to see the villain here, dude. Shouldn't be in this list. Like, I guess <laughs> but he played it well because with the script he was given. Yeah. I guess, but that villain, one of the worst villains. Spoil it! Spoil it! Did you finish it already? Yeah. Yeah. No. No. But I, I was. Because <laughs> here, here, here. I'll, I'll tell you my Far Cry experience. Half of the game, uh, like, okay, streamline lahat. Actually, they don't have the skill tree. Really? Yeah. Why? I don't know. That's like the best part. But they, they, enha- they, 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 they took out a lot of fun stuff and then. Yeah, like, but they the enhanced way. the weapon making. Okay. So you can really like. So, ah, okay, at least Wait, it was more like, have, have you played yeah. the Tekken na sabong? Oh, the there's chicken. a fighting game done, and sabi ni Donkey that's the most developed part of the game is this Tekken style fighting na parang cock fighting. And then nakita oh, ko yung pipili ka ng mga sabong mo, and it's like just it really looks like a fighting game. Yeah. Well, but, yeah, I need to play that part. But I never heard of it. Pero yeah, I voted. I voted for Maggie Robertson. She plays uh, Lady Demetresque, the oh, big the booby big t- vampire lady. Yeah. yeah. Big titty vampire, she, she, she did a great job. She did a great job. Yeah, right. spoil the ending no, no, of Far Cry. Yeah, go ahead. Spoil the ending, please. Tell That's me the ending. In the I end, I realized that you see Lady Demetrius is based based on like a Japanese folklore thing. Oh, really? Specifically, like you, it's like this ghost, the parang white lady, the gigantic monster-looking lady. Thus, it says po 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 over and over again, and it kind of falls in love with people. It's. I think it's that because I've been reading a bunch of manga. This part is literally Lady Dimitris. I mean, I wouldn't be surprised. But tell me the ending of so, uh, Far Cry Six. The ending, dude. Uh, um, later in the vi- in the game, uh, Gian uh, Carlo Esposito. I forgot even the villain's name. That's how <laughs> unmemorable fucking. Gus. He has cancer. Gus Fring. He has, okay. He, he he has cancer. Did he get it from Walter White? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no, That's yeah, not how she... you get cancer. <laughs> yeah, dude. Like, tanginam, weird nga may scene dun na nasa wheelchair yung matanda and he keeps clicking <laughs> the fucking seat. So, yun, he has cancer and you find out na he wants Diego, this boy who joins your assistants, to be his successor. So, yeah, you corner him na, final gunfight, blah, blah, blah. And he says, I did this all for you, Diego. And he just kills him. He kills his kid and himself, and it ends. It just ends, and I'm like, Boo. why? What? Why did he kill yeah. his kid? Why did he kill his kid? Because it's so good in the saga, no? No, he said, "Na surrender your kid to to us and give up." Na sabi niya, sinabi nila kay kay uh, kay Giancarlo Esposito. <laughs> so uh, yun. I like, go. That, yeah. I like that you can't give a straight answer as to why he killed his own kid. I don't. I didn't, I didn't play the whole. You weren't paying attention. It's okay. I understand. <laughs> yeah. He just killed his kid, and I didn't know. I just woke up. Yeah, no, no. To be room. fair, because I skipped a bunch of things. <laughs> of course, of course. But oh, it's well. a boring game. It's a boring like, game. It's it sounds so boring. It's a story, and he just walks around. But this is. Not the door, not the door. This is the door. Not the guy, not the... This is the guy. Yeah, this is... <laughs> uh, did, you, did you like your gameplay? Or like, is it just so-so? I mean, it's a it's part so, It's right the here. same thing. It's the same fucking thing. At least with Borderlands, I've done three Lamsha. This is the sixth one, dude. It's amazing. Yeah. Oh my god. And it's one, one of my favorite franchises, so... Ah, whatever. Games for Impact. Um... <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. Before we go, have you <laughs> yeah, played your uh, Fast and the Furious game? <laughs> it came out, Diva. Right? Is that really just... I heard it's bad. It yeah, looks like I trash, though. But anyway, yeah. you know. Games for Impact. Oh, sorry. Okay, you need to play this... Genshin. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't... I tried that. Eh. They can't play your laptop. Oh. I, I barely played any of... I never played any of these games, actually. 
Um, well, I, I like this, the name of this one, Boyfriend Dungeon. Okay, I've I've heard of this one. This one is um, it's like a, it's a roguelike, I think. But the the weapons that you use are are have the souls of people in them, and then you fall in love with them, and then the more you romance the weapon, they become stronger weapons. That's actually really fucking stupid. It, and the I art like looks it. really great. I I'm not sure why it's in Games for Impact. Maybe it has like a deeper story than I thought it would be. I thought it was like a dating sim, roguelike type game. Uh, me be that dude. He has fucking abs and he shows his chest all the time. I think <laughs> Thirst Trap don't game for like girls. Oh, okay. I'm, I'm looking at it too. No, <laughs> dude. Believe it or not, that's not the Bida. That's one of your swords. Hell yeah. It's kind of like Persona. You need to date your weapons. Kinda yeah, like yeah, yeah. Good. It's kind of like uh, Cineblade Chronicles 2. Oh, yeah. you. Yeah, actually, that's true. That's a good one, yeah. It's like it's not a, it's not a hot anime girl. It's like a hot anime dude. I, you know. Yeah. Anyway, um, I don't know any of these games, so I might skip a bit. No longer home sounds interesting. It sounds like a spiritual successor to Gone Home, but uh, anyway, best ongoing game. Um, <laughs> I know I don't someone know. who plays Final Fantasy fourteen online. I also I also know someone who plays Final Fantasy fourteen online. I've considered. Maybe. I mean, still going strong. I I do like, I do like it when developers don't, don't give up on their game. Final Fantasy River. I'm not. Please no, dude. I, I really. You guys keep forgetting that I played twelve, but that's okay because I forget that I played twelve because <laughs> it's a very forgetful game. Okay. Fine. Yeah. Anyway, let's just All skip right. some of these. I'm just gonna briefly go through the these. You got best indie game. You got twelve minutes. You love this game, Andrew. Twelve minutes. Right, you have Death Door. Can, uh, I appreciate what it did. Yeah, <laughs> Loop Hero. Um, I don't know. I didn't play a lot of indie Loop games this year, Hero. sadly. That's the that's the game that you're building a dungeon, Diba. Right? Yeah, you build. You I don't control do the hero. You control the dungeon. I think that's how it works. Yeah. I want to play that, or I'm in debt. Anyway, <laughs> what's Inscription? Oh, okay. I heard this one was genuinely good. It's a, uh, it's a Can't card. Talk about this, a card yeah. game. A card it game, but it goes, it. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, it goes. Like the, wait, I'm gonna try to. I, I can't share this my screen. Anyway, it's a card game where uh, it tells a story through the cards that you're playing, and then you learn more and more about the person you're playing with because they're like hidden in the shadows. Oh. And then there's like a twist at the end. It, it looks interesting. I might play it. It's Devolver Digital, and I, I always like oh the games God. that they put out. That, that, so from Bali, Devolver Digital made this. Yeah. Okay. They have the, they have that E3 uh, show that they do. Have, have you seen like their E3 show where yeah, they make yeah, fun yeah. of everyone and they have this I fake mean, presenter? It's got, it's got a lot of effort put into it. And yeah. sometimes I like watching it and sometimes it's, it's like, it's okay. I mean, I'm happy after, for them yeah. that they have money to do that. I like you after girl, the she's third really time. Good. Yeah, she's amazing. Uh -huh. she, she, I love, I got, it became part of my vocabulary where she says, check a look. <laughs> I was, I don't know. I I started saying that like in, in school sometimes. Anyway, uh, best <laughs> debut indie game. You got Kenna, the one I was telling, uh, talking about. I don't know what's Sable. Artful Escape was yeah, nominated. Valheim. A lot of people are playing Valheim. That's the Viking, uh, like open world Viking game. Viking Minecraft. Though. Viking Minecraft. Yeah, basically. <laughs> oh, they got like two of the biggest things now. Uh, in video games and just tried to make the most profitable game because like I, f I noticed there's so many Viking games lately And then you just combine it with Minecraft and that's just profit Best mobile the game uh, Yeah, Genshin Impact's right there Pokemon Unite best I've, game I, I voted for Pokemon Unite also You could play you this will. game on phones? Yeah, yeah. it's free Code That's code free. It's on the Switch, which is a phone. My crossplay button. Let's cross play. We, cross should, play. Play. we cross should play. We should play. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, I would love it, that. I, yeah. Give it, yes. We should play. Never make a lobby. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, that, we have to schedule it, Kesai. We have to, like, commit. That way, if we don't do it, there's shame involved. I yell at I'll, I'll, get, I'll get good back. Yeah. I'm actually Some... pretty good to Pokemon Unite. Who do you use? I'm nine tails. Oh, nice. I use I'm greedent, dude. The freaking asshole squirrel that spits nuts at everyone. <laughs> Some of these uh, um, categories I don't give a shit about I later would, on. Dude, 
I would give best community support to No Man's Sky. Ah. I played that game um, when it, you base vanilla game yeah. and when they updated it, it's so much better now. They added farming. They added like uh, farming. Which is big farming it. Yeah, no, yeah. That's a big deal, yeah. Farming and like Designing base home, building, yeah. Base yeah. building. I, I would give it to them. They fixed everything. I get yeah, that, yeah. They, they made a it's terrible the game. game. They advertised na. Yeah. Yeah. Um, same that's, with Final Fantasy XIV. When a game is shitty, that's their gonna patch it. Parang, I hope it's a No Man's Sky. Yeah, I hope it's a No Man's Sky. Yeah. Same thing happened to the Final Fantasy XIV. And that came out really shitty and buggy. And what happened was they changed directors for the game. And when the new director showed up, he made it in universe that the old world exploded. It's like part of the story. And then the game got revamped. So I like that um, when they do that. Um, I know you continue. I forgot. Oh, that's a like I like when they they made it like part of the canon that the, the game sucked. <laughs> that was part Rainbow of the canon. Rainbow Six initially sucked, and then they kept working on it. So it's, Siege, it's not right? an yeah. uncommon thing. Oh. Uh. All right. Oh, I, Best I really VR AR game. This. I'm assuming that one of my VR I w- I would want a VR headset just to watch porn on. That's <laughs> the only thing. I I would want a VR headset just to play Half Life Alex. That's that's the that's, that's the VR game that I've I've always kind of wanted. Dude, play this super hot VR one. Oh yeah yeah yeah! Chance. I heard that's genuinely like life changing. Oh, oh, yeah. oh, I think your mic got disconnected, just so. But I I voted for Resident Evil Four because because it's the only game I've played. Hello. <laughs> and I assume it's yeah. There, your mic's working. I assume it's good in VR, just under uh, the assumption. Fucking see yeah. El Gigante's balls. Oh my god, yeah. The part where you have to paddle really fast when you're getting chased by the lake monster. <laughs> uh, anyway. You, um, next is... Oh, okay. I actually appreciate this one. Uh, I actually... I, I wish the they would drive. write... I wish they would the write what they do to, to earn the accessibility Far award. Far 6 made it accessible for people of Latino... Uh, <laughs> Let you know descent to play a game. They made it accessible future. for people not wanting to buy a mic. But uh, <laughs> dude, you menus, you weapon. I, you know, if there's something I would rave about that gaming weapon system, yeah. like your weapon system ng Fallout 4, di ba maganda? Parang yes. ganito din dito, it's so good. Okay. Yeah. The streamline your menus, pwede ka mag fa- ah, fast travel is a big thing now. But, <laughs> but it's good. Aren't you, no? aren't, aren't you like... Um annoyed with Far Cry in general kasi parang it's got this really deep political story tapos it's also like a really dumb like multiplayer game yeah that's like I told this to, to Giselle before we were na, na, yung nakita ko yung trailer ng Far Cry 5 which was really dark it looked cool a bunch yeah. of, you know, like yung a bunch of yung parang cool to raising their yeah. guns to like I yeah. once was lost and oh this I is America haha yeah. Yeah. yeah tapos biglang yung isang trailer woo <laughs> Like, it's a jet ski, it's my ass on the leg. It became deaf. like a redneck stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Uh, tone deaf in Far Cry yeah. games. Yeah. Yes, actually. Yeah. They, was, they were very insensitive to those cavemen in Far Cry Primal. Did anyone ever play Far Cry Primal? <laughs> I saw it and I wanted to buy it because it's so dumb. <laughs> but it didn't have good reviews, so uh, it I'm didn't. I heard it was dull. Yeah. yeah, yeah. It said that it it should uh, hopefully na it was successful, but it wasn't. So they just stuck to Far Cry Three forever and just changed up That's, the nationalities exactly. every time. That's what and happened. Kind of killed the game, diba? It's because yeah, of the it, failure of Far Cry Primal. You know what? No, no. I think they fail. It's a failure, but I think the time na. Uh, that's why they went in this direction, na parang tone deaf. It's because of that DLC, Blood Dragon. Have right. You played yeah, Blood I played Dragon? Blood Dragon. I actually oh, love that it's, DLC. It's, so it's dumb. fantastic. There's this one, the one part where you need to burn, like a uh, marijuana field, and Skrillex is. Oh songs. yeah, that's that's regular Far Cry Three, I think. But I. Oh, yeah. No, 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 it's in Blood, Blood Dragon. Yeah. I thought that was in Far Cry Three. Maybe Wouldn't you get sick with with Far Cry formula? Na parang there's always like always like the villain. Tapos it's like anyway. I don't know. See, River played nine uh, Dragon Quest, and they're all the same <laughs> game. So. Well, know. they all do like so one thing different. 
Now you do say you do say very interesting things about yeah. each dragon, so it's it's not even like that. Yeah, like, no, it, it's more of a comfort like of it. Assassin's Creed, you know, I don't know, it feels. But like, it seems know. like any Far Cry that you start with is the best Far Cry until you play <laughs> other Far Cries. It's like, oh, it's like the same thing. Yeah, that's true. It fucking is. Um, actually, I remember last year. Um, the Last of Us Part Two won uh, innovation and accessibility because they made a blind yeah. mode. Yeah, that's cool. You can play I... the game uh, if you can't and you're blind because it does audio cues and it says like Ellie is hiding behind a dumpster. A man is about to shoot. Do you pick up the gun? Do you blah blah blah? And so you can play the game. That's uh, actually it's... really, really yeah. cool of them to do. Like they made they made you accessibility video game guy who's blind who's fighting for these things. They made him cry when yeah. he was like tearing up like on stream. There's so much here, and because they listened to like mm. um, what he was saying. They should have listed down. Yeah, they should have said what they did. Yeah. Yeah. Like. But uh, back to Far Cry. That Far Cry too. That game should have also won best rhythm game because me and my friend were caught in that you guitar part. Like I've heard covers <laughs> online. I've heard covers of guitar. Oh, in, in Last of Us. Guitar, guitar, yeah. no parok ni Edgar. Then like, oh, this is good. This is great. This is fucking awesome. Uh, best action game. You got Back for Blood, which is basically Left for Dead Three. You got Chivalry yeah. Two, Death Loop, Far Cry Six is there, and Returnal. Um, I just, see. I love action games. Remember, I've researched. Yeah. Dude, half of this list is just fucking multiplayer games, and not. I know. I was like, it's the old man thing in me. Now. Fuck this, dude. Fuck. La- last year, last year, I think had or two years ago had Devil May Cry Five, and I feel like, I don't know, like, did not well, none of these really live up to that? And maybe that's yeah. I don't know. The stu- stupid suit of fifty one can't handle unity. Pangit daw ng. Oh yeah, freaking you know. No More Heroes Three should have been here yeah. if it ran well. Sayang. Yeah. They didn't best, optimize it. Best action game. Um, best action adventure game. You got Metroid Dread in here. <laughs> That's so weird. Best best game of the year that doesn't doesn't show up anywhere else. I don't understand that. <laughs> I you know, uh, when I was going when I was voting in the in the website, this is the one where I gave it to Metroid Dread instead of Psychonauts too, because Metroid Dread actually had action in it. Like, yeah, I'm I'm getting yeah. to that point now, but I don't. There's, there's so much here. If my <laughs> hand started cramping because of that game. Like when I when I beat the final boss, like You're I right, had to take though. a break. Ang, ang lapad ng hips ni... Right? Anyway. I mean, I like <laughs> it. Me, but like, it's like, yeah, that's Samus. Cool. They, yeah. They made their hips like way wider. Yeah, and but it's like, it's like. But yeah. is, it, is it like this Chun Li evolution thing? That, Dude, yeah. yeah. Chun-Li it's like too. Kami, Kami and yeah. Street Fighter. <laughs> yeah. Anyway. <laughs> Dump truck ass, hell yeah! Here we go. This is our this is our moment. Let's start yeah, yeah, Let's do this. Scarlet next. Oh fuck you, River. Fuck, <laughs> dude, I played. I mean, di ko lang nalaro dito yung Monster Hunter Rise. I played a bit of Cyberpunk. And you voted. Yeah, I get it. Cyberpunk. I voted Shin Megami Tensei Five. Yeah, I but I would have. If Shin Megami Tensei Five isn't there, I would have voted for Monster Hunter Rise. I I thoroughly enjoyed that game. It was very. But good. I'm so happy. Hey, did you na. finish Scarlet Nexus? Did you get off the moon? Na? No, because it's my fault. Eh? Like I play games <laughs> retardedly. It's, it's not the game's fault. It's my fault. <laughs> but I'm guessing have you're you voting for Tales, Tales of Arise. Arise? Yeah. I'm st- I'm playing it now. I'm I'm 100 percenting it. Eh? I need to. 100% uh, there you go. Then you you for for sure like voting for Tales of Arise. Yeah, yeah, and Scarlet Nexus is also awesome. Yeah. Like I'm so happy for Bandai Namco. Na. They really are the kings, but then like Atlas, Bandai Namco, you talagang the best RPGs, hands down. Yeah. I was watching I was watching this podcast. They were saying about is there any hope for like a Seno Seno Saga collection to come out? And they just laughed in their faces because Nam Namco Bandai was like, No, we're not fucking yeah, no. anything with that shit. I don't think they would earn anything from that. Yeah, but I don't know. It's only Not freaks it. like me who would buy a collection of all the Xeno Saga, Xeno Gears games. Pero dito sa Tales of Arise, it's almost a perfect game, almost a perfect RPG. My main complaint lang, and I think it's a valid one, they removed the skits. And in the skits, there's, there's, there's still skits. 
Okay. They removed the after after battle. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Where they talk to each yeah. other, where they have like they banter. Removed, they removed it, dude. And no, so they I love that. that. Like a, 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 a big tales thing. That was my favorite big, thing in, in Tales yeah, of Vesperia. because River it made grinding like kind of fun. Yeah. They, yeah, yeah, yeah. I love they Tales of Vesperia. That was my the part where like. Like the, there's that. this there's this running like joke in in those moments after each battle where, yeah. um, I forgot the the main character's name Yuri. He goes like Yuri. raise the sign of victory, and then his oh. his dog will bark, and oh. then um the print and late, sometimes when you play when you win in a battle the princess will try to copy Yuri, but she waits for the dog to bark but the dog never barks and that's like a running <laughs> joke. Yeah, I love that. So awesome. And they put yeah. that in like they didn't have to. But anyway, best fighting game. You got Demon. I didn't know Demon Slayer had a game. You got Demon Slayer. You got Guilty Gear Strive, Melty Blood type there's also, Lumina. There's always one Namco Bandai game, na fighting game, na shitty, where they put it in because it's like a property. Because there's like no other property. games that came out this year. Hindi mo Bandai thing din yung ano Shonen Jump Ultimate. Oh yeah, did not that get taken off stores? The Shonen Jump game. They they removed it from ano uh from the eShop and whatnot. They said it's like over nine thousand. <laughs> <laughs> I voted for Nickelodeon All Star Brawl. <laughs> that don't know why. So basic, right? Because it's got freaking. Because yeah. I I played Guilty Gear Guilty Gear X or is this a yeah. sequel? You strive. Yeah, I hear Guilty Gear Strive looks fun. Yeah, look look up what? the the screenshots. Okay. It looks okay. incredible. What it looks like an, a like a moving music. anime. There's a virtual fighter five that came out. I didn't I know. I didn't even no know. one talking about that. Fucking yeah, dude, game. I only played this game so Yakuza. Like the Sega arcade. <laughs> oh yeah, the free arcades, yeah, yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? Actually, in hindsight, I should have voted for Guilty Gear Strive. I'm looking at the screenshots, it looks incredible. I want I wanna play I miss Guilty Gear. I used to play it a lot I, with my brother. It's one of those know, fighting games na halatadung iba yung lahat ng characters. You get yeah. what I mean? Like, in yes. the way I think there's one that can't dash. For, there's no. one that has a triple jump. There's one that's so fast. No, ang parang downside lang yung mababa HP niya. There's one na yung parang laner. Everyone feels so different. I think. Game. I think to be fair, I think you should vote for Nickelodeon All Star Brawl because I don't think Guilty Gear has a problem with getting sequels. Fair enough. Yeah. That's why yeah. I voted for All Star Brawl because I I hear I hear that there's a lot of love put into the game, and Nintendo kind of purposefully. Uh, Fucked with their sales by releasing uh, Sora on the same day uh, for Smash Bros. Uh, on the same like release day as All Star Brawl. So uh, I don't know. Anyway. I feel like I mean it's I don't know. I don't. I think it's more of Nickelodeon should support it because it doesn't yeah. have voice acting. I Nickelodeon think that's has a hasn't. Yeah, Nickelodeon hasn't made a good game in a while too. I used to love their games. They they actually cared about a lot of the. The properties that got games. But anyway, best family game. You got It Takes Two. You got Mario Party Superstars, the one that Twice was playing, Andrew, and that was the game they were playing. Yeah. Dude, New Pokemon you know, Snap. You know me. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Super Mario I 3D World plus Bowser and Wario were get together. I know. Like, I think Bowser's Fury should be fucking nominated for Game of the Year. Just it's the Bowser's too, Fury itself is... It's so fucking well designed. Like, I would take out Metroid Dread and put in Bowser's Fury. <laughs> I don't dislike Metroid Dread, but I'm just saying they're both at the same level. Bowser's Fury is I get it. It's hard perfect. to put in like a, a, a collection, basically. Yeah, like a re-release. It, 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 it looks bad, I guess. But The funny thing about Best Family Game, it's basically Best Nintendo Game. Yeah, Nintendo sure. always... <laughs> they always <laughs> dominate this freaking category. But I hope it takes two wins, just because... I'll give it to WarriorWare, because I love WarriorWare. Dude. I hear the new WarriorWare is really good, but no one is really buying it, sadly. But I hear it's fantastic. I want to buy Get it together. It. Well, I love WarriorWare. It's the... It's the um, it doesn't have online and... Uh, hateable it should, things. though. Sayang, yeah. yeah. Anyways. Uh, I voted for... I think I voted for Super Mario, cause, just because of Bowser's Fury. Uh, here, you got Best Sports Racing Game. Forza Horizons is here. Uh, Hot Wheels Unleashed, I hear, is really good then. Uh, I'm trying to remember. Yeah, same played the one in the PS1. Fucking rule, dude. I don't know if that's the same developer, but maybe it, it captures the same that's, spirit yeah. of it. Because, dude, Hot Wheels were cool. Fuck, I love Hot Wheels. I, I don't get why the direct competitor of Hot Wheels, you know, Matchbox, the Matchbox 
cars. Matchbox. Why were they? Yeah. Why were they called Matchbox? Is this because? Yeah, so they're small as a Matchbox. Oh, I thought it was like back in the day, like in the 1930s, kids Rob used Thomas to make and... toys out of Matchboxes. Or I don't know. Okay. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I voted for Forza Horizon Five for this one. Uh yeah, you got best wait, sim. Wait. Stra- oh yeah. Wait, is that best pataas best sports racing? Wait, what the fuck? So it's is all it racing, racing a sport? And then one sports game, the FIFA. How does that even compare? Oh, you're right. There is only one. <laughs> I just so noticed like, that everything is in a car. Tapos then there's like the football. What was that? But the FIFA games are huge. I like FIFA I though. They're like, why are they in the same category? I don't know. And I don't know why it's called sports slash racing game. I guess because like you have arcade racers. Because you nominate, nominate FIFA. Oh, fuck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's like, ano, best chess game. Tapos may sinama ang ano, taong tumatay sa gilid ng kalya. Best chess know. game and they put Fire Emblem there. <laughs> or is it a problem that there are no sports games na matino ngayon taon? So sinama na Yeah, I hear the 2K, the basketball games are hot garbage right now compared to how they yeah, used to be. Yeah, even the wrestling ones are garbage. Yeah, I hear the wrestling... 2K in general, all the, the games that 2K yeah. has done this year are really bad. Which is it sad. Delayed, it got yeah. delayed this year because... COVID? Oh, yeah. No, 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 because the game... Just in general, bad, bad direction. Yeah. Uh, best I from, like Microsoft flight. I mean, I know Simulator Shop, but why isn't like Forza in this? Isn't that yeah? Simulator? Well, no, because Forza Horizon, the Horizon series of Forza, well, isn't really arcade. a simulator. Yeah, it's more arcadey. Yeah, but if it's oh. for Forza Motorsport, now that's yeah, the not. simulation. Yeah. yeah, I didn't I actually recently only found out about Age of Empires Four because I used to play all the Age of Empires game when I was a kid, like one, two, and three. Have you guys played those games, Age of Empires games? I, Freaking... I sometimes think of like maybe I should buy Age of Empires or Civilization. Just but I no, you're too dumb. You, you know, I think you'd that. like Civilization. I I love Civilization. Um, I because I, I make my own stories. And, but with uh, well, anyway, Age of Empires four, Evil Geniuses two. What's Evil Geniuses? So, all yeah, I can I think of is like, is it Baby Geniuses? Oh, it's the one where you're a super villain and you have to take over the world. I think that's what that one is. So did she do that again? Anyway, okay. Yeah. I mean, I have no interest. Like, uh, actually, what does play this. Do, you, do you not put in like, I know, like something like a fight, a tactics game here's a strategy game? I will see that, that too. Like strategy RPG. That did I, they put like Fire Emblem or Valkyria Chronicles or, or like yeah. um, this Gaia? Shooty shooty games. Ubisoft. Yeah, Triangle Strategy. Uh, What's the shooty shooty strat games with Aliens? Valkyria Chronicles? No, with aliens. X-O. Oh, XCOM. XCOM. Is that not X-com. like a sin strat game? Yeah, that should be here, I think. Wait, best, best multiplayer game. game. What? Back for you Blood don't have 2. Pokemon Unite? What is this actually, fix? Just kidding. Yeah, it's actually... I, that I, game is huge, Pokemon. Yeah. I've heard. I voted for Monster Hunter Rise because uh, I only played it in multiplayer. And I actually I like mean, how they fix the servers. It's really good. Uh, multiplayer game. Why is um, New World here? Have you guys heard of New World? I hear, I hear I a keep, lot of pro- problems with it. Whenever no, it's on I my keep, Facebook, it's always a complaint. I keep thinking, oh, like I'm, I'm gonna, <laughs> I'm gonna play Diablo. Yung pala yung plan na mga friends ko. Oh. Um, and I'm a horrible person. Um. <laughs> okay, here's where I start give. I stop like really caring. I only voted. Oh, <laughs> I actually do know these people. Oh, Fusey. Uh, you like Fusey? You know Fusey? Uh, I don't know. She's like, ano, she's like the mom of the Asian content. Oh, <laughs> really? Oh, well, that's nice. I, like, I voted for Dream. Cute. Why? He's such because, a nice guy. Yeah, I know. It's because of that stupid song that he made. The the mask. <laughs> you know that song? I hate it. <laughs> I did listen to that song. It's fine. <laughs> Um, I'm gonna just quickly scroll through these, but yeah. Yeah, best is I'll even vote ko na lang dito sa esports athlete, the one with the sickest name. You una si Chris Simpler. <laughs> oh yeah, Chris Simp. Oh, I get it. Simpler. Uh, Showmaker <laughs> collapse. Simple. He's another guy who's simple. Tens. Can we move along? <laughs> yeah, let's yeah, move along. Small. 
Best esports coach. Yeah, I, <laughs> I don't think care about I think Dude, this guy is fucking. Exactly he's named. I love that James Crowder Crowder. Like, why did they bother giving him a nickname of. Oh, that's his in game name? Is yeah. that why? I mean, that's cool. Alright. You got esports events. It's you got esports. It's fault that everyone's a, an idiot. Na putting yeah, in everyone's in got game. fucking Eng Blades. Like, with... Say, you know, say, you throw up on Oisy Colas. Oh, yeah, yeah you, that just, you just called it by their bad. last name. Yeah, yeah. You got esports event. You got esports game. Valorant is on here. Nothing. You got esports it team. Nothing for me. But I'm going to download. Uh, uh, what's that? Halo. I'm going to try Halo. Uh, okay, here's one. one that this one yeah. I'm actually interested in. Most uh, anticipated. You should talk about Elden Ring. You have, I want to hear. Like, okay, it sounds yeah. like Andrew should play Elden Ring because yeah. it's easy. Yeah. <laughs> no, that's what they say. It's an that's easy. That's what they say, yeah. Open world Dark Souls. Dark Souls, yeah. It's literally Dark Souls 3, but open world. Dude, I was so excited for Starfield, that Xbox exclusive edition. Yeah. I voted for. Uh, the sequel to The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I love that <laughs> that's what it's that called. Because it has no name. <laughs> well, do God, do God, God of War Ragnarok. Elden Ring but... anymore because it's coming out. Eh. Yeah, I am not as hyped for Elden Ring. Yeah, the closed beta. Random people were chosen too. Well, random and also the content creators, but yeah. Uh, I yeah I, I picked Breath of the Wild but what, not, what are you guys like? Uh, I'm still excited for God of War, but I'm not as excited because it's a new setting. Yeah, I was so, gonna say like you already know yeah. what to expect. Yeah, I would go actually. Surprisingly, uh, I'm game for another Souls like. Yeah. So Elden Ring and Starfield. I'll go with you know. I'll go with Zelda just to see how they change up your level design. Because it's a God of War. You're right. It's the same setting, and I'm pretty sure it's. It's gonna be. It's not that it's bad that it's recycled because it's like it's continuing more, a story. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Um, and Elden Ring, it's like I don't know. It feels like it's gonna be like you know, um Dark Souls three, and I didn't really like that too much. So it's like I'll. I think I need to take a while. It takes a while for me to like shed you know, Dark Souls two because it's getting faster and faster, right? So it's like I'm not that excited to Elden Ring. Um, now that I see it, no, when I wasn't seeing it, yeah, it was like, I get, I get what you mean. Because when I, when I saw gameplay of Elden Ring, I actually thought it was gameplay of Dark Souls Three at first, and then, and then I looked at the UI and I was like, oh, it's not Dark Souls Three, it's Elden Ring. But then you I get do. on a horse, and it looks, it looks great. Wait, wait, what do you know about Starfield? It could be Cyberpunk for all you know. <laughs> I, I've not seen anything. No, because it's like it's the sci-fi version of of uh, Skyrim, Elder yeah. Scrolls. Yeah, that's what they say. That's so why they're marketing like, you know, it. Um, Outer World. Yeah, <laughs> which already but, exists. It's Outer World. It's, it's 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 a bigger team because Outer World. Yeah, I and also Outer Outer World is more Fallout than Elder Scrolls. Yeah. Elder Scrolls has is, is more open, but yeah. What if uh, it's just that? No, it's just. Elves in space. That's all it is. Elves with jetpacks. That's actually something. I wouldn't mind. I would love no. that. I love a sci-fi fantasy. But yeah, that that's all for for that. I'm gonna stop sharing now. Oh, fine, fine. So, so um, what's your personal game of the year? And look, what's your game of the year this year? This year. But it doesn't have to come out. Have to have come out this year. It could be any game, even if it was like in the '90s Ooh. or whatever that you happen to be playing this year. I think for me, quickly, um, two games kind of. It's a cross between. I really like the gameplay of it. I don't like the story one bit, but the gameplay just kept me going and going. Borderlands Three. I had a and, feeling. And Tales of Arise. Arise. I keep saying Arise. Arise. So it's it's a tie between the two. How about you, Giselle? Um. Tony Hawk. Um, <laughs> I'm, I'm pretty sure I, don't know, I really like Santa Blade. Oh man, I think it's gonna be a no. Uh, it's a split between Santa Blade Chronicles Definitive Edition and <laughs> Ukulele The Impossible Air. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I like Metroid Dread. I haven't finished it. It's pretty cool, but it's like these two things I did not expect to fall in love with so far that's fair um for me right now i'm trying not to pick like a game that 
because I, I haven't finished um, Shin Megami Tensei Five, so I can't that, vote for that one. Ah, it's gonna be a game of the year. No, no, no. I, I'm gonna pick. I'm gonna pick <laughs> an old. Joking. I'm gonna pick an older Shin Megami Tensei. I'm gonna pick Shin Megami Tensei Four, uh, because. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Again, I know you love those. And the Nico says something. You shouldn't love them. But weren't you just like? Okay, well, well. I think part of the scenario when you were kind of falling out the suffering. Oh, that so, was the yeah. different Shin Megami. That was Shin Megami Tensei Strange Journey, which was okay. on the DS. Okay. I think that was when I was... Um... Okay, so what happened was with Dragon Quest, I take my time with Dragon Quest because there's no Dragon Quest game coming out soon. So like, I'm, with Dragon Quest Eight, I'm still like in the early moments of the game, but I'm not pushing myself to, to rush through it. But when Shin Megami Tensei Five had an announcement date of November... And I was in the middle of like a different Shin Megami game. I tried to rush through it so that I could get to get to that one without playing two Shin Megami games at the same time. I didn't enjoy it as much because of that. But 4 was the first uh, Shin Megami game that I played. And it still sticks with me to this day. So that's one. And that's a really old game. And I guess if I have to pick like a recent game of this year... I don't know. Metroid Dread was... was I actually really enjoyed uh, how it lived up to the hype. Oh, freaking like Psychonauts 2 came out this year too. <laughs> and Neo The World Ends With You came out this year also. Another like long awaited sequel. But aren't you surprised that just the best RPG? Um Neo uh, The World Ends With You wasn't that good. <laughs> oh, okay. I, I I beat it uh last week and okay. there's it's nothing to write home about. It's more the, it just continues the story in a good way. Okay. But the gameplay just feels like Kingdom Hearts. It wasn't really that um mind blowing. But it it's fine. Oh man, that's tough. You know what? I'll, f- fuck it. I'll, Psychonauts two. Psychonauts two would be my like my MDM the year. Yeah. That's By the way, it. one anime I watched then. Like, yeah. Since we were done. Oh, I want to talk about anime after you, but go ahead. Okay. Um, there, there's this new anime that I watch. It's called Kami San Can't Communicate. I'm watching that too, dude. <laughs> I am. I am in it's love so with that bad. show. I cried oh, in the first yeah. episode. It's so good. It's. It's amazing. Like it's funny. It's funny with all these crazy characters, but. It has a realistic take on anxiety, actually. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I mean, yeah. a beautiful woman who won't, who won't, who won't talk speak to me. To you? Yes. Beautiful. What a dream. <laughs> what a dream. Won't fucking talk down to you. Beautiful. She depends on me to communicate. There were, therefore, I have value. Yeah, I did. Dude. I did like the manga when I was reading about. Oh, no. Yeah. So good. I like how did seriously it tackles. Yeah, I like how it tackles it seriously. Of like. So I do know some people that have genuine, uh, like social anxiety to the point where they can't speak. Are like they I, beautiful I ha- too. Yeah, <laughs> but like it's it's cool that they handled it pretty well. Uh, the anime that I was watching and I recently finished, uh, and this was on my watch list for so long, is Violet Evergarden. Oh, I watched it on Netflix, no, dude. It I so am. At- I cried so, so hard. Oh, you're okay. It's okay. Here's the watch order. For all you Violet Evergarden heads out there, it's episode one to four, and then you watch the special, and then five uh, to thirteen, and then you watch the two movies. So that that's how it goes, I, like canonically. I couldn't get through the first episode because it's like. And it's I had sober. To, I had sober. to. I uh, know. I had to carry my arms from the battlefield in my mouth or something. Isn't it something ridiculous like that? Yeah. No, parang, Wait, that are you happen? are you watching the dub or the sub? Oh, what happens, bud? So, so dub. I because her attitude in the dub and the sub are very different to me, at least. I mean, when I sub. her sub, it's it's more monotone. But I, I don't know. It, it, it's just a case to case basis. But yeah, she carries her arms. No, she carries the major with her with her teeth because her arms fall off because she's a child soldier and she was. Uh... But man, it's there are monster. some episodes. The reason why so I started perfect. watching it, yeah. The reason why I started watching it is because Hideo Kojima started tweeting about it a lot, like randomly. He's like, "Oh man, I love, uh, I love Violet Evergarden. Shit. I watched I the think movie twice. Twice he needs to tweet this out for me to watch it. Right? Yeah, episode yeah. five. It's the great. Not the one where they burn the parts. Na, na dull school na siya. Like she okay, it. yeah, that, that's like I think that's episode three or four. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Is it worth the, it? Talaga? I mean, it looks beautiful. Yeah. It looks it's beautiful, dude. Amazing. Yeah, I. I I, it's very um it's very cha cha choppy 
Hello? There, hello? There you go. Valkyria Chronicles was more like Violent Evergarden, though. Yung mas serious. Yes, you were okay. saying, sorry. Where was I? Uh, but yeah. Oh, sorry. Okay. So I think the reason why Hideo Kojima was like tweeting about it a lot is because of how it's kind of thematically similar to uh, Death Stranding. No, to Death Strand. Yes. And also Metal Gear. Ah, also Metal Gear. Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah. It's it's he's it's about connecting lives, connecting the world through writing and post uh, post letters and whatnot. But man, there's there's um I don't want to spoil it too much, but there was one there's like there's like three episodes. Three very hard hitting episodes that just made me like openly weep. You know the kind of crying where like you can't help but make like a, a bitch sound where you're like, ooh, where you go like that. <laughs> where it's like it just comes out of your mouth kind of cry. Then there was this, I don't know. This one episode about a writer, a, a novelist who lost his daughter. There's one episode about a soldier that wants to send a letter to his uh to this girl that he likes in in the battlefield. And there's one in the special about an opera singer. Um writing uh lyrics for a lover that passed away and those were all uh, it was amazing i just i can't wait to watch the movies uh, i yeah, i'm in that it, 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 like, like the, from what it's sounding like river it sounds awesome but these are kind of like anime anohana like you mga one and erased you mga one and done They're like i can't watch this again. no yeah no i don't think i'll ever come back to some of these episodes <laughs> yeah. especially not the war related ones they're just yeah, like heartbreaking yeah, dude. Yeah. Uh, one anime I also watched was I, I watched a lot of anime this past week. Uh, Miroko Chan. So I'm um, basically um I'm concept with her. She can see ghosts, but she doesn't oh, react. Oh, yeah, where she yeah. tries to ignore them. Yeah, yeah. Because it's I'm cute kind of because they might they might keep following her. I don't know. Yeah. Gonna... I haven't watched it yet. I, it's on my list. It's on my list. Okay. I'm, there's this this see one episode dude, where. I love it when, like, in Kinagawa ng Evangelion, uh, Science Gate, where, like, the, the thing kind of changes genres. Yeah. The point, because it, it starts off funny and happy, but, dude, there's some episodes made by then. I'm tougher than you, whatever. I don't cry. Cause I'm, yeah, I'm a pussy, I'm a man, dude. Buddy. Yeah, yeah. Fuck yeah, dude. So, twice rent pala is. <laughs> a world tour about it. a world tour so hopefully philippines is there i said i'm gonna go oh I'm gonna you know what for you up. i hope they i hope they show up i i really do oh, I hope yeah dude I, it'd be fun I if heard they the perform tickets were, they, that, i heard that the tickets were be... very expensive <laughs> they, they perform here that was they just call out slipknot Parang say, slip not your pussies you've, you've been here twice and you haven't performed ever because you're too scared of terrorists <laughs> <laughs> that happened, right? Twice the one who didn't perform. Dude, really? the one girl last last year, Jong Yeon, performed with a broken ankle and a fucking eye infection. So the whole wow. the whole yeah, the whole disease. concert, she, she had a fucking eye patch on. It was sick, bro. Yeah, twenty uh, k. I never bro. felt cooler than when I had an eye patch on that. Twenty k, guys, front row. More tank that look this. You know what? This. For you, I will go. If 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 ever like, even if it's Gen Ad, I don't give a shit. Like I want to see you like fangirl, like hardcore. It's gonna be so good, dude. Twenty <laughs> k. <laughs> no, maybe not. Front. That's what that's why I said Gen Ad. That's why. Happen. You know what's gonna happen? Be really tight in tickets, right? Oh, I'm yeah. front row that time, and then see Andrew is like, oh, ni refund ko guys, bumili ng Nintendo Switch. <laughs> Yo, dude, Bob, like the Iron Maiden, I had to fucking. I had, I had to save up. Dude, oh, I would K-pop watch Atarashi a... Gako. Like, yes, I, I would watch them too. I I, I like their stuff. But I would also maybe not watch them, like, because I would feel like a fucking creep. Because they're high school girls? Yeah, they're that's like twice they're, they're like 25, so I think yeah, it's. Yeah, that's. Pretty, pretty Andrew is more in the moral. I mean, you're watching like, Atarashi Gako for their music, not because you're thirsting over them. Yeah, like. Yeah, and I'm not thirsty. I <laughs> yeah, I, I did this. I did this analogy a long time ago. It's like I treat them like cats, diba? Right? Cats uh, are cute, right? Very, you never human. jerk off to. Yeah, you never jerk off to a cat. That yeah. would be you weird. You never right? jerk off to a cat. 
You would talk real, but not to a cat. <laughs> okay, okay. Next episode, guys. Magreact tayo sa K-pop videos. I'll give I, you a yeah, list. Dude. And let's I, watch it yeah. here. You get a list. Dude, like, I've, I've honestly part ng aking, like, I've been doing jump rope, like, really intense boxer jump rope, pero it's like, what is love? And it's like, it's really good. It's really good dude, I'll out. tell you there, but it's like an RPG. You fucking, what they do in the, like, there are nine of them, and what they do individually, dude. My, my, my categories, my subcategories pa, fucking their personal lives. I, don't I love how, the way that you're describing twice as an RPG. For me, it feels like you're my dad and you're trying to like, like tell me something about like a movie. You're trying to get to my levels. Like, son, it's like, it's, it's like one of those RPGs that you play, you know, where you... <laughs> but yeah, I, I, I make, make a like playlist. Dragon yeah. <laughs> Dude, okay. I will share, share playlist. Yeah, no, I, let's I listen to it live. I'm game like for that. Album, albums. Uh, wait, before before we go, uh, I'm so sad. It's, uh, GTA Definitive Edition. Oh, it's yeah. a piece of hot garbage. Yeah, it's hot garbage. I I'm, saw the. What I'm happened? fine with not perfect performance. Ah, pero wag naman yung worse than the PS2. <laughs> ano yun? Yeah. It's such a cash grab, no? You know it's what so, made me? It's so bizarre. What made me scared, scared you know, when I was buying it, man? Nah? I kind of knew. Oh, this is not a good sign. They were planning planning to release it in mobile, mobile. Oh my that's god, this is, bad, is. That's, that's what it is. That's what you're you right. Know, you know that's what the port side. is? Alam mo anong port to? This is a port of your iPhone. GPU. Yeah, it's the yeah. iOS versions, and then they just upscaled it. That's they did the same. They did the same bullshit to to Dragon Quest, dude. The, 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 the Dragon uh, Quest phone? 1, 2, hey. and 3. Yeah, oh, yeah. One, no, 1, 2, and 3. Hey, well, actually, I don't know. 1, 2, and 3 on the Switch yeah. is just Dragon Quest on the iPhone. <laughs> and they upscaled it. I mean, but yeah, if, I mean, it's a fucking like, JRPG with pixels. I don't, you're right. But like, this I mean, is it's GTA. It's a lot better than tung sa GTA. Because like, I get naman that the aesthetics are the best. I mean, I yeah. got angry at the Chrono Trigger thing. But at the, at the end of the day, it's still workable. But this is literally... The, the rain garbage. doesn't work. Yeah. Anyway, but, oh man, like, it's just, if you choi- you, if the choice is better as so emulation, I wanted to, I wanted to give them money because I really love yeah. those games. You know, yung GTA, uh, uh, San Andreas, di ba may local two player yun? Yes, yeah. They fucking yeah. took it out. This is one of the fucking things that I wanted to do was like, you know, bike around with my friend. Dude, and like I saw the models, like, oh my god, like Ryder I'm... looked like she was, he was in a with in a fucking Missy Elliott like Superfly video. I thought it was <laughs> low thought poly. It was like, it's not the best, but I didn't think it was like telegang something that yeah. I don't, I don't, it's still it's fine, it's still playable the man now, but it's still like. It's not I worth. Wait for it's, but it's not worth the money. Like playable is not bare right minimum. Now. Yeah, it definitely isn't worth the cash. Cause like, Dude, I was so excited for Vice City. That was one of my favorite games ever. I was. That was it, the one I was most excited for too. Cause I, I really yeah, enjoyed yeah, the, the performance Jackson of Ray Liotta. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Well, you, even your fucked up thing done is um they used low samples ng mga MP3s so pang yeah, yeah 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 so, so it doesn't so matter. What the fuck am I buying? This can't yeah, if you got the it. song that you were like excited for, it's just a low quality version of the song. You could get a better version off of YouTube. Oh, no, even your dialogue is low. Even the dialogue, quality. Jesus. Okay. I, I hear, but it's, it's like mixed badly. It was such a lazy thing to do. Like, what if, what if, with the new effort that they put into remastering those things, how about they just made a DLC for GTA Five? Na parang okay, you get to I, go to. Would it be just, harder? Uh, you, you would think that it's the yung legacy ng, ng Rockstar, right? That they would put in... Yeah, effort. it's them Kasi trying like, to preserve Nintendo, the legacy. Nintendo's not putting out shitty versions of their games na parang completely unplayable. Yeah. 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 But like, this true. is like, this is, you're, you're making billions every year, tapos parang you can't like throw yeah. in a couple of million to fix this thing. I mean, so, I won't call. And like the, fa- the fact na merong mga modders who already ported it to like the Vita, tapos it works better. Yeah. Um, it's fucking really frustrating. I, I think that's that is like a good like barometer of like if if the modding community does a better job at remastering your game then you messed up like big time 
Well, if you're a fucking billion dollar company. Yeah, if you own the highest grossing media thing <laughs> ever. You don't really. There's no excuse for that. Oh, like it's not a hot coffee mod, guys. What no, dude, the no, hot no, coffee no. mod is it in is it. There. Oh, it's it there. Is? No, no, it's they it's left it by accident. You okay. know what happened? They took it down. The PC version. They took it down. The PC version. The people had already played. They couldn't get refunds. They took it down because the hot coffee mod and some of the actual songs were still there. <laughs> na hindi yeah. na accessible. So they had to, it was really bad. Gano. It was a shit show. They uploaded the wrong file is essentially what happened. But yeah, that's the funny thing. The hot coffee mod is in it. I just I can't believe yeah. it. I mean, you you wouldn't want to see that now. I mean, there's, there's, you already have Cyberpunk and all of these other games that have like, good sex in them. <laughs> Oh, I, bet, like, I bet the people at CD Projekt Red, the developers of Cyberpunk, they're like, "Oh yes, Ooh, now a different, you. yeah, a different target Ooh. for, for, for the for the yeah. gamers." To I, it's, it's not that hard. <laughs> yeah, I I say this is worse than Cyberpunk. Yes, because at least, Cyberpunk at least yeah, a new game that they were. It's a new IP. Do. Yeah, they yeah. did like. It's a F. These are going on the FPS. So like, okay, this is a fucking. It's a PS2 game. game. It's a PS2 yeah, game. Like, just fucking put out the. Ah, yeah, you know, it's just frustrating because I wanted to fucking play GTA. Yeah. Even if it's oh, on man. the Switch, and it's not perfect in frame rate, whatever. But like the fact that, parang maybe I'll buy it. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> After <laughs> all that, <laughs> you just broke yourself down. Fuck it, I'll buy it. it. Fuck it. <laughs> no, I, I'll wait for at least. Oh. Uh, I don't think they're gonna patch it up. And I, I no, you know what? I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, though. I like either a patch will come out next year, but though that's what I'm thinking. If you're gonna patch out new models, like how big is that patch gonna be? That's gonna be and a then, huge file, yeah. Like, but I don't know. I don't mind. I don't know. I have you seen you? I know. Have you seen you rain, Andre? Yeah. yeah. Have you seen it? It like goes <laughs> over the oh, the ocean. When you go underwater, there's rain underwater. That's it. Like, it's, like, it's so weird because like you would think the rain had been perfected. I mean, it was already raining perfectly <laughs> that day, and then it's yeah, just, dude. Uh, see, like we've been praising rain no PS2 era. Palang, yeah, it's like oh wow. What's the the eco or some shit? Oh yeah, 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 yeah eco, yeah. <laughs> and, yeah. And like yeah. I don't understand what's happening to games. Na parang they don't put in fog. Like, isn't that easier to put in now than it was? <laughs> I'm insane. But is it more? Yeah, they, that happened to. Uh, it, that happened in, in so Ocarina, Ocarina of Time. Yeah. yeah, the fog was removed because it was so HD that the I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> the game of the year, uh, GTA. Game of the year, GTA trilogy remake. Any you know, any announcements? Um, uh, not much. Uh, ah, uh, ah, I get it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, a new sketch for Solid Oh, coming. nice. I miss. Yes. I've been. I've been waiting for a new sketch from you guys. Um, uh, what's the thing that I'm? I don't know. I don't really have one going on right now. You Nothing. think that? No, I thought. Let me be real. You think the podcasts are gonna keep going? Na yung nago open na pang ano? Um, mundo. Um, you know what? I think it will still keep going because me and like basically. We're almost there now, alert level two, and me and Red did an episode. Still the same viewers, so. I guess I know. I think na ito na yung calling, yung parang lower end podcast or like oh, parang. Sino pa rin yung matitira, like people yeah, really yeah. want to do it. Pero then it might come in like waves, because parang COVID might come in waves. Then ganon. I'm mean, still so frustrating. Yeah, I heard in South America, like parts of it, like it's a spike na naman daw. Yeah. In Europe, yeah, I hear like because yeah. there are a lot of anti-vaxxers in Europe, and it kind of caused another wave. White people. Wave. <laughs> White people. Uh, yeah. Okay, so that's that. I I shouldn't have brought up that at the end. That's all right. Do you think? No, wait, wait. Do you think they? Wait. Do you think they're uh, gonna make a video game? Now, the COVID is like part of the story. <laughs> yes. Dude, you know yeah, who the first should. ones to do it? Freaking Call of Duty. They're going to make a oh, Call really? of Duty game about... No, I'm just guessing. Activision will make a Call of Duty game where COVID is the plot line. Or like they part of the story. A, they should make a Call of Duty about sexual harassment. 
<laughs> that's what's happening with their world right now. Yeah. That's no, all the video. You know what would be sick if you yourself? What? Like if they inserted the disease, the breath of the wild, but in a fucking wear a Majora's mask. <laughs> Majora's sick. mask. That's that would good. be sick, dude. Social distancing of the wild, the breath of the wild. <laughs> Hoy Link anti masker. <laughs> Ah, wait, uh, let me just advertise to, to whoever's watching the one person. You should go and check out Rex Meliora. He is making a comedy special for the 29th this November. It's I bought 30, my tickets now. 30 Hell minute. yeah, I'll watch it. <laughs> oh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna to buy it now. I already bought. You don't even know that person who's watching. But you should watch it. He is, he is a man. I did your poster. I did your poster. And he is, your name is... Uh, Wag mag panic lahat ay addict. I oh. advised him against on that time. <laughs> <laughs> But it's fine because I trust him. Let's see you ano. Because he always ends on a message. Ganun. Um, That's true. That is his thing. Uh, you should watch it. I mean, I should you, watch. You I should like watch. It. You should it's it's you payday tomorrow. Mine. You didn't watch mine. You know what? Yeah, <laughs> I won't watch anyone's special so no one feels bad. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. I watch my slash. Yeah, River just goes online. River is playing shit. Yeah, it's so sorry, guys. Uh. <laughs> Good night. Uh, Good night. Good night. Every uh, Thursday. Goodbye. Bye.